What is up guys? This is Moritz here from Sectionster once again. And today we will be having a look at this product tabs right here. You can either link them to the product description you made already, or you can put in a completely new text. The whole section is fully customizable. And I'm gonna show you how you can install the whole thing to your very own store. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is downloading the app, which I have done already. It's called Section Store. That's the one I used. It includes this section and many more but we're gonna have a look at specifically this one. The app itself is completely free, but it does sometimes come with premium sections like this one. It has a one-time charge of $9. And that means if you bought it once, you're gonna own it forever. There are no hidden subscription fees or anything. And I think at the end of the day, you're gonna save yourself a lot of money. You don't have to code anything yourself and there's no developer needed. And you still have the option to fully customize the whole thing. All right, sweet. After successfully downloading it, we're going to head back to the home area of the app where we want to add the actual section to the theme we're using. In my case, it's the Dawn light theme. And now I'm going to show you how you can use that whole thing. So usually when you open up your theme editor, you're going to come to the main page of the whole store. But we want to go to the product page, which is going to be that one. And there you can see the section already. It's called SS product tabs. And I'm just going to show you how you could technically completely do it from scratch. So it's called product tabs. And they would appear in a completely new version. So I'm just gonna get rid of that, save the whole thing up so you can see how the default version looks like. And then I'm gonna explain you what I did to the other one. Yeah, that's the one as you can see. And I'm just gonna delete this one again so I can show you better on the one which already exists. So I don't have to fill it with new content again. Let's let that load up, give that a refresh, and then we should be able to see the one you saw in the beginning of the video again. Perfect, that's the one. First thing I wanna show you is how a single block looks like. So we can change the icon of that thing. That is all possible, or we can even pick a new icon. Bootstrap is a quite nice library for that. We can change that right here. So product information maybe, so you can see it's uploading live. And here we get the content from the product description of the HTML, which we put in the back end of our store already. So you can change that in your settings at the product panel. So you just go here and then you click on the product and there you can put in the description. And that is possible with a bunch of other ones as well. But for this one, we just have a look at this. And if you don't have that and wanna fully customize the content, you can just throw it in there. And as you can see, it's just popping up like that. But I think the product info is quite a nice one because it's taking up a lot of space usually. And like that, you have it all centered and all together with all the other information. So I think it's a pretty nice way and it's keeping the website sleek as well. Cool. And the last one I put in there is the return purchase. And as I said already, you can fully put in your own text right here and change the icon color as well. So if you wanna do it in orange, but I think it looks better if we all keep them in the same color exactly. And the last thing we can do is doing some customizations to the whole block itself. So as you can see here, we have a little headline going on right here. Information, uh, that's the one. Just gonna get rid of that because I don't think we need it in that case. We can change the title color, title size, the arrow color as well. So if you would want to make it an orange, that will be possible as well. Question color is something we can change as well. So as you can see, pretty much everything in that whole block is changeable. And I think we are already getting to the end of the video. I'm just going to show you what else you can do right here. You can change the section background and some general paddings and margins. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's save it all up and have a final look at it in the live version. So we're just going to give that a little reload. And there we have it, looking good, looking sleek. As you can see here, all the information is there, shipping, and it's fully functional as well. I'm happy with that, I hope you are as well. And if you are, always feel free to leave a like and a follow. It definitely helps us to keep up that motivation to make more videos and sections like this. And with that being said, have a good one guys and peace out.